Hello everyone and welcome to another part of the NT scripting tutorial. Uh, today I want to talk about meshes and more specifically how to create a custom mesh in Unity. Because, well, sometimes having models is fine, but other times it's much better to actually create a custom mesh for you to do exactly what you need because sometimes you want to change where the verts are or um, if you have a terrain or you want to make a terrain generator, it's much better to be able to create your own mesh rather than trying to import uh, an already made model into Unity. So uh, first for a mesh in Unity, what you need to do is create an empty uh, game object. And with this empty game object for a mesh, it always needs to have a mesh filter. So let's add that. As you can see, the mesh is going to be none, which is fine. And also you need a mesh renderer. So once you have these two, uh, you will probably need a material for this mesh. So let's just go ahead and create a quick material here. Material, uh, let's just call it mat, and then apply that material to our game object right here. So um, there we go. So pull the material over. And now we have uh, just an empty game object with a material mesh render and a mesh filter applied. If we try to run this, as you can see, nothing happens. So now if we want to um, create our mesh, our own custom mesh, we just need a script. So let's create a new script. Let's call it mesh generator, for example. And let's attach that script to our game object. And then let's open up the mesh generator. So, uh, first off, of course, we don't really need an update function, so we can take that out for now. And what we need is multiple things. So a mesh it consists of verts, it consists of UVs and triangles. So um, if you open up the Unity um, scripting manual, you can see over here that uh, to create a mesh, you need all the new vertices, all the new UVs, and all the triangles that you need to be using. So this is what we're going to be doing. So let's create uh, a vector3 array uh, for inverts, a vector3 array for, actually, this the UVs, since they only hold two values, since a UV is only a 2D image, it needs to be a vector 2 uh, for UVs. And of course, finally, an int array for the triangles. So M tries. Uh, a triangle is pretty much describing which verts to go to to create each triangle in the mesh. So for now, let's go ahead and start and initialize some of these variables. So we have inverts are going to be equal to a new vector 3. And the size of this vector 3 will be um, the number of vertices that we have for the mesh. So, so let's first try to create a plane, just a single plane. Uh, for a single plane, you would need four verts. So uh, if you have something like over here, um, if you're trying to create a plane, you have one, two, three, four verts. And this is what we're going to need. So we need each one of these four verts. So let's create, let's make it a four, a size four array. MUVs are going to be pretty much the same idea because each vert will have its own UV value. So a vector two of four as well. And of course, the triangles are a bit more interesting because. Over here, when you have a mesh, we have a triangle, one triangle from this vert to this vert, this one to this one. And then that's one of our triangles. And then our other triangle, whoops. So this one is a black triangle. And then our next triangle will be, let's say, the red one right here 
right there and of course this one as well so as you can see we only have two triangles in the plane so what we're going to do is hmm, oh m u v s we would say m tries equals a new a new n and each triangle is described by uh, three numbers so let's say this is our vertex number one two three and four so one triangle would be between these three verts and then the other triangle would be between these three verts so each triangle needs three values to be described as a triangle so um, since we have two triangles and each triangle would take three values then we need six values in total for our tries now we have that we have created this we need to create our new mesh so we can do mesh mesh equals a new mesh and for our verts let's let's make it something very simple so add zero equals new vector three and let's make it flat on the um, on the y-axis so it's looking upwards um, so we have 1.0 for our first vertex um, actually let's start from the negative so negative 1.0 f on the y it will always be 0.0 f and on the z it will be positive 1.0 f this is so that for example if we have let's make an object over here and set it to 0 0 and 0 so if we have an object right here, we want to start from negative 1 on the x and positive 1 on the z. So it will be somewhere around here, or more or less, um, as long as it's, so if it's negative 1 and 1, so it will be around here then. Um, so that's our first vertex. Next vertex will be the next one over so that will be positive one on the x so that we can go from here to there and then that would be vertex number one vertex number two will be back to negative on the x but also negative on the z and vertex number three finally will be uh, positive on the x and negative on the z so positive on the x and negative on the z somewhere around here so this the this will describe four verts one two three and four so now that we have our vertices we need to give them the uv values so um for the uv values we will just give it something like new vector three vector two um, and if you ever worked with uvs before uvs pretty much start from um, zero, zero, zero. Over here would be one, zero. Over here it would be zero, one. And over here it would be one, one. Because UVs go from zero to one, so if it's here in the middle, it would be 0 0.5 on the U. So, uh, let's move on so from here it would be 0 0.0 f and 0 0.0 f as you can see for our vertex number one for uv's one it would be one on the x and zero on the y for vertex number two it would be zero on the x and one on the y and finally uv three would be one on the x and one on the y now to move on to the triangles for the triangles we just need to describe the um, the triangles that we have so we can go from triangle just keep in mind that the indices start at zero so when we say that it's the first the first vertex what we actually mean is that it is vertex number zero so zero one two and three so 
what we can do here now is m tries at 0 would be equal to 0 m tries at 1 so we want to go from 0 to 1 to 3 so at 1 would be 1 and tries at 2 would be so 0 1 and 3 so that's 3 now on to our next triangle m tries at 3 are going to be equal to this is also 0 m tries at 4 are going to be equal to 3 and m tries finally at 5 is going to be equal to 2. So that pretty much describes the 0, 1, and 3 describes our red triangle and 0, 3, and 2 describes our black triangle. Now that we have everything set up to create a mesh, we need to now assign it to the mesh, the mesh uh, variable that we made here. So we can say oh, mesh dot vertices is going to be equal to inverts mesh dot uvs is going to be equal to m uvs mesh dot triangles is going to be equal to m tries and then all we need to do now is to um, recalculate the we need to recalculate um, the bounds so it would be mesh dot recalculate bounds and mesh dot recalculate norm normals so that it can update the normals of the new words that we made uh, one thing that we missed is that we need to get the mesh filter that we attached onto our object as you can see over here in our object we have a mesh filter that has no mesh attached so what we can do is say um, get component mesh filter dot mesh and assign it our mesh that we just made so we're given it this value that we're going to be updating right over here. So um, the only thing left to do is to just try to attach it to our object and see what happens. Um, let's take our script, oh. attach it to our game object, run, and let's see what happened here. There we go. As you can see, we just created, it's just as we described in this image right here as you can see one two three that's our one triangle being cut from here and then one three two that's another triangle uh, and that brings us to winding order the way that it works is that when um, when you have a clockwise or a counterclockwise winding order you have to keep that in mind um, unity uses um, from what we can see here a clockwise winding order so for example it goes from here and then it starts going that way so it's 0 1 and 3 if I did it as 0 3 then 1 so if I did a counterclockwise winding order this face would be actually on the bottom and that's why the first thing that I did was check underneath the mesh because um, if you don't see it appearing most of the time is that you messed up the winding order and you did a counterclockwise instead of clockwise some some other um, game engines uses uh, counterclockwise winding order instead of clockwise so just keep in mind which one you're going to be using and uh, that covers it for creating your own custom mesh I'll try to make a few more videos about what you can use this for. Maybe try to make a tutorial about terrain generation. But for the time being, this is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.